Hello Masaka Universe. Well, while we're waiting for the Africa Cup of Nations to pick up again on Sunday for the semifinals, I thought I'd hold you over with not only jersey review videos, but also looking at some African shirts. I thought it's better than to, to do that and continue with my South American national team collection, because you know, Africa is Africa. I'm full African mode at the moment. I'm wearing the 2010 Algeria home uh, jersey. So Algeria is of course one of the semi-finalists and I've been wearing it now in two videos yesterday. But we're not going to look at Algeria today, but we look at a uh, shirt that's more or less from the same collection from Puma, which is my second ever Africa shirt. Which is this Cote d'Ivoire home jersey from 2010. Um, coincidentally, the Cote d'Ivoire is the team that Algeria beat uh, yesterday in the quarterfinal. Um, this was one of the jerseys that of this uh, famed 2010 collection I always wanted to have. I mean, the first one, you see my Cameroon jersey, it has the lion, this one has the elephant. So, I mean, that was already a must have for me. Uh, but it took me a while to get there. I mean, my first Africa jersey was the, as I said, the Cameroon jersey, which I got in 2010. This one I didn't get until 2017 when I decided. If I, so a cheap on um, classic football shirts and I do remember one thing that uh, they were selling this one and I think it was 22 pounds and they had the same one same size for 28 pounds you know there was a five pound difference I said I'm gonna take this one and when I got it and I have to make a video on all the difference of these shirts I was a little bit taken aback because the Cameron jersey and also this Algeria jersey they have on the back this very intricate patterning that uh, you can look at in the video whereas this one has a rather plain back also the strike out where the elephant is on here is not this very fine mesh but you know it is a ventilated material let me show you a little bit closer but it's not this fine, fine mesh. I mean, it's not see-through as it was for the Cameroon jersey. So that actually surprised me. I know that this is the original uh, because, you know, uh, at least I believe that classic football shirts is only selling originals. But another thing that is missing is um, there is no tag here that is, um, you know, this shiny, sure, the Algeria one. This shiny tag that's also in the Cameron jersey is not on this one. So, you know, this was a little bit of a surprise. It's also not the USP. So I think my assumption is, I mean, everything else, Puma looks legit. Uh, the material is very similar. I mean, I have uh, the material of the front. This is more or less the same material. So, I mean, from that moment on, it is a Puma shirt and, you know, has the tags in here, uh, the Puma cats are the same uh, type, but I was a little, as I said, I was taken aback. I actually think that probably this is more of a replica version than the other ones. I don't want to say that my camera shirt is a player version, it might be, uh, but this is definitely more of a replica version um, of this uh, fabled uh, Kotiwa kit. It feels the same lightness than the other one has. Maybe not as much ventilation because, as I said, it has a solid back. Uh, other features of this shirt is uh, look at the elephant crest. This was the time when the Cote d'Ivoire didn't use the country outline for the crest, but just had kind of this shield. And uh, due to washing, it's a little bit wobbled up. Uh, I think it is. it looks fine. Of course, the country outline is uh, that much cooler. And if you note, um, it is sported in white and also orange. So this is the Cote d'Ivoire flag, uh, which is missing other, otherwise. And we have, of course, uh, one star because at the moment they only had one. I think it was the 92 FCON where in a lengthy penalty shooter against Ghana. Guess when they won in 2015 for the second FCON? It was in a lengthy uh, penalty shootout against Ghana. So there is some history between these two nations and penalty shootouts when, uh, when meeting in the final. 
But yeah, there is not much more to this shirt except for this wonderful elephant print, which is more or less the reason why I got this one. I like the orange color, it's a slightly lighter orange. Uh, and actually when I wear this, at least in uh, summer, some, sometimes winter, I have socks that amazingly fit with this one. Let me show you. It's not the exact same tone, but I usually wear these socks uh, with this shirt and for some reason people look at the socks and I can tell, yeah, your socks are matching your shirt well. Not that the attitude was the intention when I got this, I, th I thought this will fit uh, very well with the Dutch jerseys, but nope, it fits better with the Cote jersey. Um, I also like the away jersey from 2010, which was green with uh, just, you know, this brush stroke effect. And I was always, which one shall I get? Uh, this one was only worn, I think, in the first game. Oh, well, no, in the last game against North Korea, that, that, that was when this one was worn, I think. They played Portugal first, and uh, Brazil they played for sure in green. I think the only word it wore was in the last one. And then uh, it basically disappeared. Yeah, it is a nice one. Uh, not also the green here, and of course there's a little bit green here. And again the triangle, but it doesn't have this intricate pattern that, for instance, the Algeria one has. If you can pick it up. So yeah, it's very interesting. I know I will once do a video comparing the three jerseys. I just wanted to point this one out. So this was my second ever Africa jersey, and tomorrow we'll look at the third one. Which one will it be? I'm sure you know it. I got it this year. So all the other Africa shirts that I have. And meanwhile, I think we are at eight, nine. One, one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine African jerseys. I'm pretty happy about that one. Anyway, let me know what you think about this jersey uh, in general, whether you like it or dislike it. Give me a thumbs up if you I uh, enjoyed this video and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things my soccer universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.